People can't comprehend a world without plants. It just doesn't mean anything. It's too big to grasp. The whole idea is to save the habitat, save the plant in the wild, and this is the backup. In the room behind me, there are three minus 20 cold stores. And in those are stored well over a billion seeds. This now represents the world's number one biodiversity hotspot for wild plant species. Over the last 10 years, the Millennium Seed Bank Partnership has built up uh, a range of, uh, of partner institutions from 54 countries around, around the world, over 120 plant institutions. And together, we have banked 10% of the world's plant diversity. And think about not just a single seed in our facility here, but uh, over 2 billion seeds. And think about how the world has changed in 200 years and how useful those seeds may well be uh, to those future generations. And the countries that we collect in are really varied, you know, from deserts to mountains to islands, the UK. Every collection is different. Round ones, square ones, wrinkly ones, fat ones, thin ones, you name it. You just don't know when you open the bag. We can then process them so they'll be cleaned, x-rayed, counted, and then put into the storage. Once we put them into storage, all their metabolic processes have stopped. So they're not germinating and they're not dying. Uh, we send out over a thousand uh, samples each year to researchers carrying out research into human development. So things like multi-purpose trees to Mexico, medicinal plants to Pakistan. Some of them don't even look like seeds. It's only when you cut them up that you realize that what you've got is a seed. And that's where Wolfgang helps. So every seed bank should have a Wolfgang. The only time a plant can move is as a seed. And plants try to make the most of that, which is why you have this enormous range of dispersal strategies. And that explains why seeds and fruits look so different. Wind dispersed fruits and seeds have hairs or wings, parachutes, so yeah, this rather delicate specimen is from Southeast Asia. It's a member of the Diprocarpaceae. Dipteros means two wings. Carpos is fruit, so it's two-winged fruit. Tropical rainforests are extremely diverse, and the climate is very different. So the seeds look different, and the fruits look different, because they're adapted to that kind of, um, of habitat. They hold a lot of uh, plants and animals that no one has ever seen or described. Logging in tropical rainforests is a huge problem. There is such a huge diversity over a vast space. You're basically diminishing the populations very drastically. But it, it happens at su such a pace that uh, we can barely keep up with the damage. The good news is that we're, we're planting more, more trees and uh, we're um, putting in, or forests are recovering to the tune of nearly nine million hectares uh, a year. And of course, that's one of the things that the seed bank is about. So some of the very rarest plants in the world uh, are here, but once we have their seeds in the bank, then at least we know they're not going to become extinct. This is an extremely efficient way of storing plant diversity. There's no technological reason why any plant species should become extinct. We have every opportunity to pass on our entire botanical heritage intact to future generations. <laughs>